mother is the template of your future self, your mind, your characteristics, your attributes, everything you live and die by, believe and feel is polite, impolite, right, wrong, blah, 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 came from your mama. Or, and then later on, your parents. But your mother is always the first teacher. Even if your father's around, your mother is the first teacher because your mother, by nature and law, has to sustain your life, has to transfer her consciousness into you by breastfeeding, by the way. So every heartbeat you hear, every sound she makes, every drop of milk is a form of consciousness being transferred into you. So if she's in a state of mind at the time that she's delivering this consciousness to you that is contradictive or that is harmful or, or the, the polarity of a positive effect, what do you think your template for all of the foundation of what makes you you going to be? Your mama smacked Jesus into you. As soon as you said something, you said Jesus' name in vain, boy, pow, 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 pow. You did it, did it, oh, don't take the Lord's name. Did, but see, somebody else did that to her. And then somebody else did that to her mother. And then so on and so forth, the cycle continues. So I say this to say, it starts at the reprogramming. It starts at breaking the cycle. How do you break the cycle? You do the opposite. You do the opposite. That's where it really starts. When you have the courage to do the opposite, and the intelligence to question what you're being taught or told. You know, it kills me because you talk to religious people, and you're not allowed to ask questions. But wait a second. Didn't God give me will? Didn't God give me intelligence? The funny thing is God asked questions himself. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I thought he was all Where naked. are thou? <laughs> Who told you that you were naked? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Oh, it's a joke, man. And only until we start using true intelligence beyond belief will we be able to. But yes. Where was I? Um, God likes to ask a lot of questions, but he doesn't like us to ask him. To ask there him. you <laughs> go. Well, let's not say that. Let's not say that because that's not true. Because many people question God in, in the Bible. And God answered the question. Yeah, well, I didn't say no one ever did. I didn't yeah, well, didn't like to. <laughs> the people that claim to represent God don't like to do that. And once again, where does that come from? That comes from who taught them to who taught them, which was a fucking slave master. Mm -hmm. you, don't add, you don't question your slave master. You know what I'm saying? So once again, we're dealing with programming. As you already know, brother, I don't like to waste my time on this dumb shit called religion so we can move on from it and focus more on programming and breaking cycles doing the opposite perfect example you got a ghetto ratchet bitch she's in the store they won't don't want to give her a refund her normal reaction is to smack this bitch but because she's been taught the only way to break the cycle is to do the opposite she smiles she says have a good day let me talk to your district manager or let me talk to so-and-so. She handles it a different way based on her forcing or being aware of that she's continuing the pattern, so therefore she breaks it by doing the opposite of the pattern. Simple. So put it to you like this. For the last 40, 50 years, the men that we complain about today has been raised by the strong, independent woman. Now, this strong, independent woman, what are the results of this paradigm that we're in where women can do what men can do and they run everything and, 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 and they win in all the court systems, they get custody of all the kids, you, got, you need vegetation rights, blah, blah, blah. What has the result brought us? Let's look at the facts and not use personal emotional judgment. Let's look at the facts. For 40, 50 years, things have been ran in this nature. What kind of men do we have today? We have, well, I like to say there's two different kinds because there's always a masculine and feminine aspect to everything. So we have your masculine aspect, which is the over masculine male in which he's always doing drugs. Trying to make up for something he lacks. Trying to make up for something he's never seen an example of. Trying to imitate something that he's been bombarded with 
with repetition and symbolism that didn't come from an organic source, which we call a father. Mm -hmm. So now he's imitating BET. He's imitating uh, Young Thug. He's imitating so and so forth. Mm -hmm. Same thing and vice versa. The result of this current paradigm and the current structure that seems to be constantly being in use by our women and sustained by them, by the way, which is their nature, mm -hmm. has brought us the result of what? Absentee fathers, emasculated men, feminized men, men that feel entitled to things, men that don't have a hardworking ethic, so on and so forth. The list goes on forever. The logical slash intelligent thing might to do is go, if we've been strong and independent and by ourselves for 40 to 50 years, and the same men we complain about seem to be the same men that we have raised completely by ourselves, if we do the opposite, will we get the opposite result? Let's give it a shot. See, emotions only make good servants. They don't make good leaders because your emotion serves you at the moment that you feel it. And that's all it's there to do. What is ego? Ego is another one. Another form of emotion. Oh, oh girl, you right about that. Uh-huh. Don't let him. Do, I, 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 I never do. Ooh, you a better woman. Than that, 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 that. That's all ego and bullshit. Instead of sitting down, logically separating the situation to look at them in an individual specific aspect in order to decode, deconstruct it, see how it works, and how you are the source of the result being in a way that's either not in your benefit or is in your benefit. See, I want to know how shit works so I can do it all the time. That, that's, that's the masculine perspective of me using my masculine mind, which I can't help but use because I'm a man. <clears throat> I want to know why this works so I can perfect it and it will work for me constantly. That's the only reason why I want to know why. I don't want to know why so I can debate you. I don't want to know why to argue. I don't want to know why to flaunt that I know and you don't. I want to know why to make it better. I want to know why to make it permanent. If we want to break the cycles that we continue to complain about, we must do the opposite. As men, we live in fear of our women. We live in fear of police. We live in fear of every single thing but black men. Oh, I'll shoot a nigga in a second. I'll fight a nigga in a second. I'll hurt a man in a second. Oh, boy. And if I see a blue and white car, shit, I don't know you. Oh, if I get my woman mad, I'm running. We must do the opposite. Today, you don't truly love your woman, and you rather protect yourself before her. So what's the opposite? Love your brother, protect your woman. Not saying don't love your woman because, see, that's another thing, getting into a whole other subject from this, but the aspect of what we call love in our ancient times didn't exist. We built relationships built off the foundation of respect first because I knew what family you came from, I know your aunts, your uncles, your mother and your father. He comes from a respectable family. I don't have to know you personally because I know your values, your mindset, and your program comes from your family. That word program, let's not get it mixed up with a, with a negative aspect because there is no right or wrong. It's just a form of programming. What's most efficient? What's less efficient? What's most efficient for who? That is the real question. But back to what I'm saying. I respected you from the foundation that was set by your father before you and his family. So therefore, without you even speaking to me, without me even knowing you, I already had a respect built inside of myself for you. So now I already trust you with my daughter. You have respect for me because of my family, my upbringing, and the fathers and mothers that came before me. So already you can't wait to merge your son with my daughter and so on and so forth. So therefore, these relationships and these so-called arranged marriages was built on foundations of respect out of the lineage of families that accumulated respect. Then on top of that respect, love was built. It's in reverse now. 
We think we have to be in this deep love and we are romanticizing everything. When you look at the word romantic, what do you have in it? Romance? Roman. Roman. Huh? Roman. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Romance. Romantic. Love and is love is an emotion. And what did I just say about emotions? It's only needed it only serves yourself at that. They're point. servants. Mm -hmm. They're servants. Oh, I want to be in love. Ooh, ooh, I just love, 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 love. Yeah, don't get me wrong. It's a great feeling. It's awesome. It's one of the most powerful things because emotion is energy. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. If you break down the word emotion in the etym uh, etymological aspect, it's energy in motion. motion. Okay. You see what I'm saying? E-motion. Mm -hmm. So, yes, love is the strongest force in the universe. Absolutely. And if love is the strongest force in the universe, what's its polarity? Love? Of love? Yeah. Hey. Hey! So hate and love pretty much have the same energy and power source, which is why this Caucasoid don't give a fuck if you hate him or love him. He just wants you to give yeah, any type of attention, yeah. any type of attention. And he prefers the strongest type. Mm -hmm. So you either hear them say, we need to love each other, mm -hmm. or you either hear them say, fuck y'all niggers, and y'all niggers, and blah, 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 constantly waving his hands and jumping up and down so you see him mm -hmm. go, oh, fucking hate that white man, blah, 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 blah. But what are you doing? You're, you're, you're paying mm -hmm. attention and energy, which gives life. Nothing moves, nothing operates without an energy source connected to it or attached to it. And this caucasoid is a parasite. But we're not going on him. Let's get out of that realm. Back to what I was saying. Reversing the cycle comes from the opposite of actions. If you know this and continue to do the same patterns, you only two things. Either mentally challenged, retarded, or you have made a personal choice to not reverse your pattern, but yet verbally deny it. Simple. I dressed like a European every fucking day at one time. Once I came into realization and accumulation of certain knowledges and wisdoms, I had to change that due to my integrity as a man. I couldn't live in a denial. So I had to change the way I dress, change the way I talk, change the way I eat, because I knew better. I had to break my cycle by doing the opposite. They tell me I need meat every day, have ain't meat in five years. You see? They tell me I have to dress for success according to a European mindset that judge me right now, I'm not successful. Because I don't look like the template of what they have given to deem what success is. You see? So, once again, all programming comes from symbolism, repetition, and trauma. And breaking of program comes from the opposite of that repetition, symbolism, and trauma. They show you struggle, murder, brokenness constantly. So, what must we show ourselves to reprogram ourselves? Greatness, divinity, and wealth. It's the only way it's going to work. It's the only way we're going to reprogram. So... As that one, right? Symbolism is a powerful tool. Oh, man. Symbolism is all around you constantly at all times. There's, there's nothing more repetitious than symbolism. Symbolism is in all things, in all ways. And once again, now we're going back full circle into the realm of how everything is connected. Because what is symbolism besides the expression of messages using images? Let's break down the image. What is the image? It's forms of geometry. Let's break down geometry. What's forms of geometry? Forms of math and angles. You see what I'm saying? Now, we even go further. Let's break down angles. Ah, angels. What are angles? As we should already know, light. So, well, uh, I don't even want to get into this, but I'm just going to say this. Light doesn't travel. Light is, but I'm not trying to get into that right now. It's too much. Light comes at angles. It transfers messages and consciousness shining down at what you call rays, which are nothing but forms of angles. They took that and took the word and made it angels. So you call them light angels, light beings. So essentially... Angles 
is just another form of way of transferring messages. What I'm doing is I'm taking everything deep, deep to its deepest source. You don't get, you don't, you don't, you can't go past the transferring of messages and.